story comes to us from KTAR.com out of Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, when I get to Phoenix, the sun will be rising. The cops will probably leave a note right on my door. So I thought I'd give you this one because we have a lot of Phoenix cop watchers out there. A lot of, you know, uh, cop watchers and auditors in Phoenix and Mesa, Arizona. But apparently there was another OIS. Now that's not officer instigated shooting. That's officer involved shooting. Where police shot a man who was allegedly acting erratically and throwing rocks and bottles at cars and businesses, according to authorities. Now, Sergeant Phil Krinsky of the Phoenix PD Public Affairs Bureau said in a press conference, the incident occurred near 7th Street and Bell Road around 4.30 p.m. North Phoenix today, officers opened fire on a man outside of the Chili's restaurant near 7th Street and Bell Road after police say the man was acting erratically and throwing rocks at businesses. Team Trump's Michael Doudna is live from 7th Street and Bell. And, and Michael, why did they open fire on him? Why did they open fire on him? Yeah, Mark, that's exactly what's still under investigation in this case. Now, a Phoenix spokesperson says it's their policy to use force if they or a third party feels threatened. Now, whether or not this man with this river rock threatened people or other details of this shooting, well, all of that is still being sorted out. Now, listen to this. Sergeant Krinsky said, when we perceive a threat to ourselves or to a third party, we have to take action. Every situation presents different circumstances. That was the 10th shooting of the year by Phoenix police and 20th overall by law enforcement in the Valley, according to KTR News 92.3 FM research. There's an investigation that's ongoing. 10th police shooting in Phoenix. It's only May 10th today. 20th shooting in the Valley. What is that? Phoenix? Mesa, Tucson's down the road, right? But how big was this freaking rock that they had to shoot him? But taser wouldn't have worked for him to drop the rock? A taser? Pepper spray in his face? That wouldn't have made him drop the rock? This must have either been a rock that he could throw 30 or 40 feet or one hell of a big-ass rock to shoot the guy. See, all of this began with a call about a person acting erratically and throwing rocks across the street from this Chili's near 7th Street and Bell. The individual, when they attempted to make contact with them, had a, a river rock in one of his hands. The individual uh, was given commands to drop the rock. Instead, police say he ran across the street and went towards the restaurant. The officer gave commands to not enter the business. Uh, the man ignored those commands and the officer involved shooting occurred. I'm thinking Arizona, but I think I'm wrong. Where was it, if you all remember through my editorials, where the guy had the knife and he was like pointing at the officer and he put the knife under his own chin and the cop tased him. He didn't shoot him. He tased him. The man is now in the hospital and some details are still unclear. Like, did this man threaten anyone? Uh, we're still speaking to witnesses to determine all those details. Or was the man shot in the back? Uh, I, again, I don't have those, de those specifics. Or why did an officer use lethal force on a man that supposedly was armed with a rock? Again, I can't speak for the, uh, the details of it. For now, police are still investigating what exactly happened. As shoppers and those here for a quick bite are shaken. A Phoenix PD boy, comply or die.